Hey, we are Story Fandom, and we are here finally with a Ruby Chapter 3 reaction. It's been a little crazy. Um, for anyone who watches our channel, and I know we only have 28 subscribers, um, we've had quite a week with uh, a second copyright strike on our other series, and the holiday coming up, and running around like a chicken for the heads cut off. We're here. Finally. We're still alive. Um... He didn't murder us. Not that he didn't think about it. Yet. To quote the guy. That was better. To quote the guy from volume five. Yet. <laughs> Sleep now. Remember the, the back guy? He went through the window. Callie beat him up with a. Can we switch? <laughs> Is it too late to switch sides? Like spots. Yeah. Leave my water alone. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, we're finally here. So, I think we can all safely assume we like the episode. Yes. Um. So I guess going from the start. Uh, one of the things I've looked up, because that's what I do. I get bored. Is that really the start, though? What's the start of the episode? Oh. The part where I go whoosh? Yep. Okay, so first I go whoosh in the reaction. I also have a moment where I just go like this. <clears throat> Before we even start the episode because they just bring out the worst in me. On purpose Says too. Says of shield. Come on! Um, parachute of hardness. <laughs> that, just, that just sounds wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, he uses a parachute. It's a hard shield. Hard like extra hard. Can you feel it hardening? None of this is working for me. <laughs> because it's all coming off as dirty and I'm just really uncomfortable and I feel like we should switch spots. Anyway, so in the beginning <laughs> in the beginning, there was light. And on that light were several screens. That were listing off the plans for their attack on the Shinny Dust Mine. I thought he was like legit, like trying to like list off the beginning of the universe. It was light. (laughs) On these hollow light screens. And just light. That was loud. On those hollow light screens, it listed. I'm sorry, anyone out there who uses headphones. I love ice. Sorry. It lists Couldn't anyway. it be one of those weird <laughs> videos? You know? It already is a pretty weird video. No, the... ASMR? Whatever. Pretty sure you're not supposed to... Stop it. <laughs> no, no one gets any ice. I hope you're happy. Children. I'm not. <laughs> anyway. On the screens... Professionalism, please, now. Says hardness over here. (laughs) (laughs) On the screen, it says that Team Ruby Jr., which is what I am dubbing them now. Ruby G. (laughs) Like Ruby Tuesdays, but younger. Um, They are now listed as active huntsmen. And we didn't catch it during the reaction. I I saw it later. I saw it stuff about it and I guess on another screen I did not Rube see a screenshot of this one Rube Journey yep but then that splits up the Ruby on another what order on another on screenshot yes. they're it's listed the as active licenses so I know a lot of people talking about is, did they get their licenses what do you guys think they may as well have if they didn't, then that's pretty stupid. If they have to take a test, that's even stupider. But the test yeah, has always been something stupider. they talked about. Yeah, yeah, the test is, but the, yeah. at this point, but now it's school. like the end of the world. So. Yeah, but, but what I'm trying to say, so I could totally see, okay, I could see Ozpin, like, saying, whatever, here's your licenses. But yeah, Ironwood, say. Ironwood is like one of these, you know, he's a general. He's a, he's kind of a weird rules kind of guy. So they'll be like, alright kids, you've done great. We'll schedule those license exams for you for the end of the week. 
We got this. I can see that being like Ironwood's thing. Maybe he's just too tired. That beard is weighing him down. It's like five (laughs) extra pounds on his face. He's like... My neck doesn't move very much. That's because... Oh. You resisted the urge. I did. Um, So... (laughs) Then we have them going, obviously, in their new outfits. And their whole, you know... Jean and his long hair and Blake and her long hair and then the awesome scene when they land and then the really weird flirting the weird flirting kind of thing between Yang and Blake which again at least they know how to flirt she doesn't want to talk about Ruby she just wants to embarrass me at this point what I'm good at. I played my strengths. Anyway. anyway. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're pretty much getting to the point where Bumblebee's probably going to end up being canon. May as well be. Yeah. I like how that's just my statement. I, I know. At this point. May as well be. It's like, why are you guys even in the video? All you do is make fun of me and say, may as well be. I don't know. You keep waiting for us. Yes, because it's a group review. Oh. It's a group review. May as well be. Review it. So this is why my reaction, all the reaction is literally just that side. So, do you guys have any thoughts? Or why do I just keep going through this on my own? There really hasn't been anything that happened in the freaking episode that we have to have an opinion on. I'm not loving Jean's hair. It's very 90s. Okay. Like it's it. very early 2000s. Yeah. What about... It's very 8-year-old in our neighborhood who goes to elementary school. It's very... Should be a cross it, it was his legit... It was like literally his haircut for a while. Remember when he was trying to do the David ha- Tennant haircut? That's what it looks like. It looks like your David Tennant haircut. Ow. What? <laughs> he wanted my opinion. I gave my opinion. He didn't like my opinion. I don't know why I do this. I just, uh... <laughs> I'm giving an opinion. You did give an opinion. Thank you. What kind of random opinion? Why is it random? It's his hair. Yeah. It's That's all that's work that happened so far. <laughs> okay. How about how much you disliked uh, Vine and Elm? But we didn't make it to that part just now while we were talking. <laughs> because when I was trying to go through We're talking it, about the light. Well, I was trying to go through <laughs> the episode with you guys, you guys kept being distracted the entire time. So I thought, well, we'll just talk about what we were talking about. So oh, what did we have opinions about? But Let's you didn't see. Tell me that. What did Brandy have opinions about in the reaction? She hated them. She likes Clover for some weird freaking reason. Which one was Clover again? Clover's the one with the good, good luck. The good luck charm guy. Oh, the one who yeah. I said if I was Crow, I'd be pissed. But it's not his fault. No, You'd but I'd be still pissed. be pissed. I'm pissed about everything. Oh, God. All I'm saying is that Crow... You're pissed about everything. Yeah, he's also 15. What's your excuse? I live with you. <laughs> Anyway, I do like Clover. I don't. I like them. I think that it's going to be like a cute little bromance. No. Well, the what I them. see is Crow no, feeling see, like he's... I'm not, I'm no, not it's... shipping them. But like, well, I'm just saying there are people who do I ship them. I think it's a cute little bromance. I think they'll balance each other out. I think it'll be nice. Right now, I'm I think it's it going to up... suck for Clover, though. I was still talking. Fine. Go ahead, Julius. You know where your continuation of your talking was? Repeating what you said. No, I was about to say something else. (laughs) (laughs) What? 
No one on camera can see this, but the dog was on the couch. The dog got off the couch. The dog laid down right in front of us off camera, and they gave a long, suffering sigh like I've been giving for the last ten minutes. <laughs> I like, was Thank going you, Max. to say that Clover is going to be like super annoyed because he's had all this good luck, and now Crow is there to kind of balance that out. So instead of him having all these great things happen all the time, it's going to be like, oh, everybody else's day is just a normal day, and this is my day now too. Everybody's normal. Now you can talk. No. Fine. <laughs> I don't like the other two, though. The skinny, old, weird-looking guy. And the person who's with him. The one who's basically and a bigger Nora? Who's with him. Yeah. Well, I don't like them because they're so condescending and they're kind of assholes. Yeah. The other ones are, like, fun and nice, and they actually kind of do trust them, but, like, those two just kind of condescend to everybody, and I just kind of want to punch them in the face. It's because the one girl's all like, I'm bigger and stronger than all of you, me. And then the old dude's all like, She's I'm, literally I'm just. Your, a, I'm your elder. I'm wiser than all of you. I'm smarter than all. That is a terrible you. characterization and impression of both of those that's characters. What the, that's what they're doing. No. Yes, they are. They're basically another version of Ren and Nora. You like, got for, bigger like, Nora and older Ren. Like I forgot what it was, but like something happened, like that, like something that Ruby and them said, and the young guy was all like, "Yeah, great plan," or something like that. Yeah. He like said something. They're very kind of along those lines. Like they're, with that kind of attitude. Dicks. They're super dicks. I don't like them. I don't have a problem with them. I do. Dubro McGee, also known as Clover, I think is annoying. <sighs> Who we think agree he's on? annoying because he's cooler than you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to switch seats. <laughs> What I, was I like, think you I just don't, don't like the bigger Nora like... because she's bigger than you. You're like, God, I must be so nice to be that no, tall. No, she's just condescending to them, and she treats them like they're children. But they've gone through way more than these Aesops have. And they don't even have their licenses yet. But these people had all this training, they got their licenses, and now they're all up in Atlas, you know, where it's all nice and cozy for them. And they only have to go down to Mistral, and that's it. They haven't faced half of the things that Ruby and them have with no actual licenses. They haven't made those tough choices. They're not holding on to a relic right now. They haven't seen people reincarnate. They need to get on with themselves. <laughs> right? Yep. So you expect them to have appreciation of all these things that they don't know about? I expect them to take their dicks out of their mouths and to friggin' be normal people and not condescend to people all the time. I hate people who do that. You know I do. You know I hate people who do that. I hate people who talk to children like they're idiots, and I hate people who condescend to people just because of their age. And that's exactly what they do. I'm well they would be that. those kind of people who would like go up to a five year old and be like, Oh yeah? That's so nice. Me, me, me. And you just want to punch them in the face. Like, that is a five-year-old. Talk to them like a human being. Idiot. This is based off of real events. She can only watch original charm, thanks to that. <sighs> I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, subject. A little bit, apparently. Salt in the wound. So, <laughs> we've got that. Um, I don't see the Clover Crow thing as a bromance. I do. I think, like, just by Clover. Crow's reaction to Clover in general, he he's, seems like he feels useless now or something. Because now they have a good luck charm. And he feels like he's just like, like, like he feels even worse about himself. Because of that. <laughs> good enough for you, mother. <laughs> the guilt. I guilted her with a stuffed animal just by having to stare at her. He's sliding off of 
my thigh. Julius, hold the water bear. Thank you. Have a stare at her. It'll make her feel guilty. <laughs> I like the new Grim. They're cool looking. The but they're signals? creepy. They remind me of the house bugs that we get in the winter. Except they aren't really, because the house books we get are shorter, like in terms of length, and they have a really long legs. These yeah, are more like creepy. millipedes. Well, yeah, they're going to be shorter than the giant grim. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of perspective, those things were like this long. And the middle, house bugs are also like this long. By the way, house bugs are those little, like, brown, weird, like, centipede-looking things. Everybody gets them. They do not signify any kind of dirtiness or anything. They're just, I don't know, weird things. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. They're just gross. If you live in the Midwest, particularly by the Great Lakes, <laughs> you probably know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. But that's what they reminded me of. Well, they make me think of millipedes. Or centipedes. <gasps> it could be a sizzlipede. Pokemon. I know. Sword. Wow. Sizzlipede. 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 You see, I don't ever get a chance to play Pokemon. Sizzlipede. Look, you're just mad because I have three badges and you don't. Because I have to work all day. What are you going to do? You volunteer. You get to come home. Could that you means I don't get paid for all of the hard work I do. Yes, it also means you live. You are three blocks away. We're digressing. I drove 120 miles a day. No one cares. <laughs> no. Give me the dog. Look, he doesn't want to go. He's reaching out to me. Anyway. So. Clearly that was also the mine that Ilya's parents died in. Yeah. The way they kept having the... Hardcore. Watch the STC boxes. Yeah. So this is... I'll be honest, I had forgotten the letters. I thought it was NCB. I don't know why. NCB. I was just I was just putting random letters. I knew there was a C in there. And D's look like B's. They got two humps instead of one. Humps. The B's. My humps. Not the D's. My lovely puppy lumps. Puppy lumps. <laughs> oh my god. Max was singing. This is not a review. Puppy lumps. This is not a review. Okay, so what else can we talk about? Why was it named Ace Operatives? It's not like we actually learned anything about them. I thought we it was going to be like... Because they worked together with the was, Ace Operatives. But I thought it was going to be like a background. the Ace Ops. I'm going to hit you with the water bear. No, I think they called the Ace Operatives because we got to see what they were like in battle. This was actually defining each character. So we didn't get to the backgrounds, but we got yeah, to see... I mean, we got to see their semblances and stuff. Um, so I guess they left. Hair. I like that. By the way, I do like the. Oh, team. and if it's not speed that Ruby has, what exactly is her semblance then? Um, from what I've seen, the official mention of it in the Ruby companion thing is that her. Let's go get my book. Her semblance is the birch and the rose petals. That's that's her semblance. It's not speed. And then the theory is being that maybe the reason she moves so fast is because when she bursts in the rose petals, rose petals are light. So if she's moving forward with all that energy and she goes to rose petals, all of a sudden there's much less mass for that energy to affect, so she's able to go faster. Mm. That's the theories I've been seeing. Um, but, but, yeah. I have a feeling they're going to try and explain that more maybe as we go. But I, uh, Why are people always forever having to teach Ruby about herself? <laughs> I think that's just a teenage <laughs> protagonist thing. A lot of stuff out of that. I'm just saying. Max is like side eyeing you, bro. Like hard. He's side eyeing me. He was like hardcore side eyeing you. That's because he feels like I abandoned him because David took him from me. (laughs) Okay, fine. Go on, Max. (laughs) He left you too. Yeah, he left you too. 
You have to move us. I want to go over here, my boy. Call me. Call me. He's I'm like, crawl. I don't want to be on I'm camera. Crawl. I'm going to crawl. <laughs> I'm going to crawl. Anyway, back to Ruby. Because this has been 20 minutes now, and we haven't done enough review in this. I'm very sorry. We're crazy. We're stressed out. Well, that's because we're waiting for you to lead us. Why? You are the Jean to our Ren and Nora. No, that's not good. You are the Jean to our Ren and Pira. Although in that scenario, it's not good either. You are the Jean to (laughs) our Ren and Nora minus the relationship part because we're son and mother as opposed to people in love. You're like... It doesn't work either. Why not? He's the bumbling idiot who has to lead us in a battle even though he doesn't know what he's doing. I love you. Jesus. (laughs) Jesus. <laughs> I do feel like Jean right now. He's also the third wheel. Because they had that moment where she's all like, Ren, what do you think of my outfit? And Ren's all like, we're in the middle of a mission. And she said, Jean's all like, I think it looks great. Yeah, you're Jean. Anyway. Um... So, since we're doing so badly at reviewing the episode, because there wasn't a lot there that we have a lot of opinions on, besides how much she hates... Well, oh, Clara outfit. freaked out over Tyrion. Yeah. At the end. I called that, by the way. You watched this before the reaction. I call it. Of course, I call it his karma. I'm like, oh, it would be so funny if Tyrion... Oh, hey, look, there's Tyrion. That's basically what happened there. Yeah, but it's not like you called it when we met the guy. You keep calling it like 10 seconds before things happen. That's not calling it. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole movie it's, about that shit. It was already obvious that Tyrion was showing up at that moment. No. I know. If see, that was it, then I called it too. And so did Max. I've been listening to other people's reviews. A lot of people said, that's a jump scare. Well, the only jump scare, in my opinion, was the whole... Guys, that that is a jump scare. All about them games. <laughs> it wasn't good then. It's not any better now. <laughs> it was. It was great. It wasn't. It wasn't good because the first thing he said was, "Hi guys." No one's gonna get that. You don't remember that chibi episode? I remember the chief here, anyway. but I'm not going to give him So, since so we're not doing the greatest job in our review of this We stuff, are doing a great job. Do we have I, any predictions, maybe, for next episode? I predict that Crow is still going to look like a pirate. She doesn't look like a pirate. Oh yeah, we agreed on vampire. Also, the outfit makes him seem even younger. Did you guys know that like they did the, the same design on the, the sleeves that they do on Austin's like, cane? Huh? Do they? Yeah, it's the same swirling like vine kind of designs on his sleeve that are on Osmond's cane and on Ironwood's gun. Well, maybe that's just like the dude's signature. The dude's signature? Yeah, the, the one who designed it. The dude? Yeah, the dude. <laughs> Monty? No, the dude in the show. What dude? Dude. Who is this dude? <laughs> the one who designed it. I feel like we're in a lavender situation here. Oh, wait. Where does it keep going in circles? She's circle? just talking about the designer in general who makes yeah, this Yeah, the stuff. designer. No. In the show. <laughs> because, okay. The cartoon <laughs> character. Pietro? Yeah. Maybe that's his signature. You Except don't know that his life. The dude. Except that the Staff was not made by Pietro. It was made by Maybe Ozpin's. he adopted it as his own. <laughs> That's more believable than his wife being a maiden. You don't know his life. <laughs> by the way, dude. if you want to see something that's just about as crazy as this one, we have a theory video out that makes about as much. Well, it makes tons of sense, in my opinion. But it flows together as well as this. this and uh, nobody else thought it. The whole internet out there. Things of all these crazy, weird ass things, and nobody thought that. What does that tell you? <laughs> I'm gonna sit over here now. So, oh. <laughs> oh my god! I'm trying to hold you. Come on, turtle. You can do it. Anyway, I thought we're done with this lick attempt. Um. 
I think the next episode will probably be... Next episode. You just need to stop saying it. <laughs> will probably be about, you we know, Oscar episode. and yeah. Ironwood. You know, whatever... Yeah, Oscar and Ozpin and Ironwood. Yeah, whatever Try Oscar and Ironwood are doing back at the base while the mission is going on. At least in part. Do you think they're going to have that fight scene that we see in the... Opening. Opening. I think there's a possibility. That fight scene means two things. Either that's a, just them sparring, and he's trying to help bring mm, out... I don't think no. they're going to do that in... Opening. Or it's he finds out what happens... What happened? Or happened. That's more like, because I'm And that he sparring. loses it on Oscar. I'm telling you, that's crazy man beard. Dictator He's beard, too. Lose it. You know, you guys kind of have the same beard. I love you. This is why I took the liquor. This is what she does. Anyway, do you he's guys got, have any predictions? He's got that tired man beard. I actually do agree with that one. I'll, I'll give you that one. I think that's what it's going to be because it doesn't make sense to do anything else. Then, unless they're just not going to show us what they were doing. Yeah. The only other thing they might also show is we might finally get... Uh, Pietro and Maria and what they're doing. Maybe. Or Cinder and Neil. Know. What? <laughs> He's paralyzed from the waist down. I mean, from the waist up, he's not. <laughs> I don't think Ruja, he's going to just suddenly branch into old, disabled porn. Because she's blind and he's paralyzed. And You don't know what both they do. 80. No, but they could just like come out and like her braid is disheveled. And there you go. That's it. That's all you need to know. No, I'm pretty sure that's not the route they're going to go. <laughs> anyway, I think there's I'm also a sure chance. I'm pretty sure but I just thought that would be funny. There's a pretty good chance, I think, that maybe we'll get a snippet into Neo and Cinder. We know Some they're... people are saying that they don't think they're going to show up this season. Because right. they're not even in the opening. <sighs> but they could also, I mean, it could be, I could also see it being where they don't show up to like the last episode. And so... <gasps> Wouldn't it be great if they reincarnated Torchwick? I mean, they brought back Ozpin, and he wasn't even that great to be in one. That's different, though. Torchwick is cool. Reincarnation is Ozpin's thing. Yeah, it's like... I know, but Torchwick's cool. I like Torchwick. You like Torchwick. You have the figure. But it's like saying... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> that was so terrible. It gave doesn't. me a chill. It's like... It's like saying. It's like yeah. saying. I'm a jerk. You don't know if he got away. He was eaten by a griffin that was kicked into a. You don't know. Airship. You do know, though. Maybe as it was going into the airship. That's like saying. Was thrown hey up. guys, I think Incredibles 3 is going to have Syndrome come back. I mean, I know he got sucked into that jet engine, but you never know. He might have gotten away, guys. Look, crazier <laughs> things have happened. Like maybe Pietro being married to a maiden. <laughs> <laughs> like every Sherlock twist ever. But in the comments, he's not in this. You don't need to bring him into everything. But everything would be better if we did. <sighs> It's oh, like saying, boy. it's like okay. saying, boy, boy. Like we're saying hitting a half an hour now. Like saying Torchic probably got out of it is like saying, oh, oh, Pierre we're probably didn't about, die. We? You know, she probably got out of Cinder killing her right there on, at the top of the tower. Although. Hey, I was saying reincarnation. I didn't say anything about him not dying. No, you, you literally just Yeah, you did. You say. changed it. You did change it. Well, that's because you guys weren't buying reincarnation. I did like, by the way, the one fan comic I saw where John was all like, wait, can you bring Pure back to life too, Penny? And then Ruby coughed up ashes. And then Penny was like, salutations. That's bogus to the ashes. as hell. What? It's funny because they were all, they were chibi. Never mind. You know what? 
This has been going on for half an hour. <laughs> this is a terrible review. <laughs> we haven't reviewed very much. No, now it's half an hour. Yep. Mm, except it will be a short delay in this where it does a whole spoiler tag so we'll be past it. Anyway. Uh-huh. Half this video has just been you giving me shit. <laughs> okay, well, what else do you want to talk about about the episode? That's what I'm saying. Is there anything else? And if not, then at this point, we should maybe consider... Wrapping it up? Wrapping it up. I Nicely. We're fine. Yeah. I've said all I had to say. Do you have anything else to add? You're the one who reads about this stuff. I just live in it. So, to wrap this gift up nice and tightly, this is the sort of crazy we got. We're sorry this video was late. We do really appreciate any... We're sorry about all the digressions. She's not. Look at her face. I'm not really, but I figured it was the polite thing to say. So anyway, um, please, if you like our crazy brand of crazy, go ahead. That's trubbish, by the way. <laughs> go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we have a Facebook. Comment. Too. Definitely comment. Yeah. He gets very excited when people comment. And he also gets very excited if we get a new subscriber. He will, like, literally call me from work and be like, we got 27 subscribers now. And I'll be like, really? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I was pooping, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's always poop with you. <laughs> I was Not making always. the poop cookies. <laughs> We still have to make that video one day, explaining poop cookies. Like, poop cookies is relevant. It was not relevant. It was very Don't relevant. Don't ever make them. Anyway, we also have a Facebook, facebook.com slash story fandom. We also have a Twitter now, which is at fandom story. I don't know how that happened. Somehow it got reversed. Go ahead and tweet at us, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't know, I swear. I don't know. Okay, this, this is what I live with. She does this. All the time. He chose this. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. We're sorry. If you're still watching... You are a very impressive human being. Like, a really impressive human being. <laughs> Alright. I'm just... <laughs> this finger is ending the video.